So now look what it says here. Allah, he gave Suleyman a, fly, a flying carpet. You believe in flying carpet? No. Why not? You are a Muslim. Uh, the screen is not uh, refreshed yet. Chapter 34, verse number 12. It says, We subjugated the wind in its morning, stride from the sunrise till the midnoon. Was a month journey, and it is afternoon, which means like, you know, one month to go, one month to come back. In one day travel, good travel two months between two brackets. And we caused a fount of Milton brass to flow for him. I don't know what the fount of brass means. It's money. At that time, this is the money. Money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. People, they make money from, uh, you know, uh, they bend in the time. Sometimes they use gold. Sometimes they use etc. So hey, Allah, he made for him uh, the money come from the ground. And he subjugated okay. the jinn. All of this to do what? To build a, a palace. Okay. Okay. So now, Muhammad is going to spread Islam and he is begging people for money. Suleiman is going to build a villa. And Allah yeah, gave him everything he wants, even genie. But there are two things to it. Like the first thing is, like you said, okay, uh, in that ayat, um, people give the charity and you say, okay, it goes directly to him, which is not directly what the ayat said. Okay. But I can understand. I want to ask you, you when I Muhammad, your perspective. okay, mm. uh, when, uh, when Muhammad died, how much money, Fatima, She so we asked, are changing, uh, like we are a bit jumping. No, no, we are not. Because if Muhammad is not taking money to his pocket, then mm -hmm. Muhammad should not be able to give cities and towns as gifts or his daughter she will inherit. For her daughter too? This yeah, his, did what? his daughter, yeah, did his mm -hmm. daughter, she asked for the whole city, including the slaves, including the, the, the trees, the land, Including the people owned by her? I am not familiar with this. Uh, no. mm. Okay. Let's see. Uh, but does this have to do this with the same as the previous? Well, okay. How aware they? I mean, this guy, Muhammad, he was orphan. He have no money. He is born from an orphan family. He is mm, that's poor. At the beginning. And then, oh, at the yeah. beginning, ah, thank you very much. So where is the money coming from? Nah, okay, but not okay, only I will give charity. you an option. Muhammad, he invested in the stock market in bitcoins. <laughs> what? In Ethereum. No, no, but, no, but just I'm serious. Thursday. I'm serious. I wanna, I'm asking you where the money came from. If Muhammad, he take the money, he give it to charity. I do know, like because of one of your videos, you exp you uh, showed on in the hadith that it was from um, war bounties as well later in life. Like it was what? the fifth of the war bounty. Like I know that that thing. Exactly. So yeah. Muhammad, he take money everywhere he go, and he have a privilege of money. But I, what I meant to say was the charity part, like that. I My friend, that, how you have a privilege if you are a person who lived from the charity. If I am like you, all of us, we, okay, we collect charity, and this charity for everybody. Then why I need to have the fifth of the booty, special only for me? Mm, yeah, I see your point. Mm. I see your point. All right. And, how, lot, and how, his how his daughter, she is asking for the whole city to be part of her inheritance. And then Abu Omar al-Khattab, because he hate her, he refused to give it to her. How, yeah. how she owned the whole city? Cities? They own cities with the people, and the slaves, farmers, the whole, everybody owned by Fatima. Hmm. Hmm. How is that? Yeah, I, I know what you, yeah, I see your point, but I don't, that's not, um, how should I say? Like uh, kind of similar with like Suleiman. That okay, no, no, hold on, hold on. You see, Suleiman's story is a stupid story. Who in the world gonna believe in this? Suleiman was a king, and he's doing but what Christians do. also believe in Israel. Hold on, Solomon. No, no, we believe in it. We believe Suleiman as exists for sure. Mm -hmm. But this guy, he have a wealth of a king because he's a king, not because he's a good man and he's a prophet of God. Same time, the Bible says Suleiman was a bad person. He did a lot of bad things. So, in the Quran, Suleiman get rich because Allah provided him with the floating metals come from the ground. In the Quran, Muhammad, he got rich from the booty 
and from the charity. Yeah. And Muhammad have a privilege, the fifth. So now if we go and we have a war, and then we, we know we, we steal $10,000 from the Christians. We kill the Christians, we get $10,000. And there's 10,000 soldiers. Muhammad alone, he will take one-fifth to him, one-fifth to Allah. Both will go to Muhammad. Then the 10,000 soldiers... What do you mean one-fifth to Allah? What do you mean? They he says, Al-Khumsu wa Rasuluhi. You see, Muhammad, he made himself equal to Allah. It is the fifth to, to Muhammad and Allah. Is that correct? I don't see it on the screen. Do you show that? But you you know the... the the hadith, I've seen it, but I didn't know that it was also a fifth for God. I thought it was only a fifth for him. All right. Well, you can you can understand it as you wish. You can yeah. say it is only for Muhammad. It, you can say it's a, a fifth to Muhammad, fifth to Allah. If it is fifth to Muhammad, that means Muhammad, he made himself Allah. Uh, I, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. But hmm? yeah. Okay. okay. Read carefully here. This is a Muslim translation. And you know that whatever of, of war booty, you may gain verily one-fifth of it is assigned to Allah and to the Messenger. Mm. Do Allah need fifth of the booty? No, the only thing what I could say is, that, okay. Okay, who uh, is the one who will take the fifth of Allah? Then the Messenger indeed. Okay, so now Muhammad, if he take one-fifth, from 10,000, how, how many dollars that would be? Yeah, 2K. To what OK? To 2,000. Okay, 2, 000, and then if we have 10,000 soldiers, each one of them, he did not even get 70 cents, 60 cents. So Muhammad gets out $2,000. The only thing is like he At least. is a leader in it. So like what if he's a leader? Is, the, is, okay, see? Is he, he a, the money, is he a prophet who is serving God? He want to use the money for the sake of God? Or he want to take the, the $2,000, which is a lot of money for his pocket? Yeah, but I, what I would mean to say is maybe he uses a large part of what he gets for My his... My friend, I just, you see, a second ago, I asked you, how his daughter, she is fighting over inheritance of a city full of people. And you keep saying to me, oh, you want to spread it for charity. A person who is spread it for charity, first, he do not need to take fifth of body because it, the, his people will not let him hangry. Do you think the, the Muslims will let Muhammad hangry? No. Okay, so why he need money? No, I thought just to use if it in I a am, good way. If I am a prophet and I have thousands of people willing to die for me, how many of them they will bring me food every day? How many of them they will be happy to serve me? So why yeah, yeah, I need to take the fifth of the booty? Do you know? Do you know that Muhammad he have sixteen privilege? Sixteen. Uh, I heard a few. Like for example, the amount of wives that he could have at one time. No. That's did you Did you hear that Muhammad? If his mm -hmm. eyes fail into a woman, her husband must divorce her. 